Hello everyone, it is Sunday morning and that means it's time for me to do another of my Kaguya-sama Season 2 reactions. This time I'll be doing Episode 4. Um, this dropped sometime last night, I think just after midnight. I don't think I'm going to try reacting that late because I'm usually too tired. But I am ready now, it is a fairly pleasant morning, I've had time to go outside and absorb some sun get some warmth, and now I'm ready to go. So, just very quickly, what did we have last episode? So, last episode was kind of a bittersweet, kind of, or touching, more sort of touching episode, a bit more sentimental, where the student council went to do their sort of star slash moon gazing as like a last thing that they could do together as, a, as their current student council. Shiragane was unexpectedly and unconsciously very smooth just because of how absorbed he was with, you know, the actual activity that he didn't even think of how pretty cool he was actually being, his interactions with uh, Shinomiya there, until later when he got incredibly embarrassed as his brain replayed all of those events over for him and probably made them sound even worse uh, than they actually were received. That was fun. But then we also moved on to the more nostalgic or reminiscent parts of the episode where they remembered the things that they've done together, which also included some humour but also was sort of tinged with sadness as they realised that their year as a student council was coming to an end. And then we, yeah, sort of realised that they were going to possibly be parting ways because the student council was their big link to each other. And uh, Shinomiya ended up, yeah, actually just asking the president whether he could try to be president again even though she knew that was kind of selfish, but turns out that was something he was considering as well. He didn't need to, but um, her asking was obviously enough to push him to decide to do it again, because it obviously means a lot to him. So yeah, that was nice. But that doesn't mean that it's guaranteed we've got to actually have the student council election again. I don't really have much fear that he's not going to get it, but I think there's still, you know, some room to see what, what can change out of this. We also haven't seen a couple of characters. There's the brown head, I think brown head girl, that was sort of staring at the notice, the notice about the student council election. And I think she's been seen in the opening, but we haven't been introduced. So perhaps we'll hear or see more about that character this time. Is there anything else to say? I don't think so. So I'm going to get ready. So just a reminder that this is a full-length timer-based reaction, so you're going to need to have your own copy of the show so that you can sync it up and watch along with me. Uh, I'll do a countdown before I lead into pushing play, and there'll be a little timer just above my video which can hopefully help to synchronize with me. And without further ado, here comes episode four in three, two, one. Yeah, that's about to be expected, I think. How could there not be progress whatsoever? Yep.
Doch. Oder wie unleashed. I really like the way this starts. I feel like I was a bit down on the episode. Uh, op on the upper. Bleh. I feel like I was a bit down on the opening. In previous videos. Just because of the way that I'm comparing it to the first one, but. I really like the start of it. Just the opening shot. Of the, uh. Of Kaguya pulling the bow string back. And then shooting between like all of the other characters. This part is very stylish as well. Yeah, it's the brown head girl. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Tokyo looks so different like that. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> Hydraulic press videos are pretty cool too. Of course you would.
Boom. She's just pushing all the buttons. I wonder how many geysers Ayasaka actually has. I was saying, wow, she was pretending for three hours. Oh. I knew that he wouldn't even through all of that he is way too into Kaguya for that Could Hayasaka be an actual spy? It was such a strange... Kaguya wants to be confessed to. I think that's the name of the the other way that the title of this show is referred to. All the gossip. Mm. 
Oh my gosh. Look at how invested just like everyone else is. They're hiding behind the shrubs as well. Awkward. Oh no! Some of these shots are amazing. Wow. <laughs> the tie is right. Those two again. Uh oh.
Another high achiever, huh? Oof, that's rough. You know, Miko. She is quite short. Pretty sure he does. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Hmm. I wonder if she's just being sneaky. Soragi Kobachi. Not kidding, she is pretty intense.
There you go, Chica. Obviously just caught up in the moment there. Hmm. The last one was actually... Kind of full on. Just the... A setup for the next... Set up for the next one, I think. I wonder how long this arc will last. I actually thought they were just gonna resolve this episode, probably. I didn't think it would actually keep going. Hmm. Okay, well, it can't be that bad having someone very passionate about things going into student council, but from what it seems like, that which she's campaigning for might not be very popular <laughs> among the students, so... It'll be interesting to see where this goes, but at least it does mean that uh, Shiragane can't be too complacent about his position. I mean, personally, I think, you know, where he has to win anyway just for the sake of the continuing, you know, sort of narrative structure, I guess. But, um, you know, at least there's some conflict being created there. Hmm. So in the first part we had, let me refresh the names. I Hayasaka wants him to fall for her. Okay, so that was the because she'd basically been dared to and her I guess this was more of a pride in her ability than anything else. Obviously she's not interested in in a shiragane, or particularly, you know, not particularly in trying to win him over Kaguya, but just because of Kaguya sort of egging her onto it and, you know, basically telling her, well, you know, prove it. Um, she went, you know, all out with her, with her charms and her tools at her disposal. He's good. I do I do like having more more episode with Ayasaka there. She is incredibly capable. I've said this before, but I feel like if she wasn't just being, you know, the maid to Shinomiya, she could <laughs> also be her I don't know, easily her spy or contract killer. The second part Kaguya wants to be confessed to, because I think that's how the title is rendered in some areas, right? Or maybe for the for the manga. That was a nice, very tense moment. I really liked Kaguya's wording there, and the way that she responded. It's clearer to each of them what each other's thoughts and feelings are. So I think that she understood what was happening there. So while it wasn't a confession, it was still, I guess, almost a confirmation for her. And I like the way that she she sort of smiled in realization of sort of where he was at, where his head was at. And then said, you know, this is how I'll answer you, whether it's about campaign speeches or anything else, the or anything else being particularly important there. 
saying yes, you know, as if had you, if you had asked me <laughs> about, you know, the other things, um, yes, you know, this is how I would have answered you as well. So hopefully that can also give him a bit more confidence in, in the way he approaches things. This does make me wonder how their actual relationship is going, because it is going, it is proceeding more than I might have expected if it was a show that was going to hold something, was going to hold things in a status quo for a very long time. Whereas they are willing to sort of keep progressing things. So I still don't know. I don't know whether they're going to try to, heck, maybe they resolve this and it turns into something, some other thing becomes the foe. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go. But I do like that they can still make me feel like things are moving along without completely throwing away the initial premise of the story, I guess is what I'm saying. And yeah, and then we've got the new character, Ino Miko, and I missed the name of the other one. And it could take me a while to find it. Osaragi Kobachi is this one. I guess is friends with uh, Ino Miko. I guess we'll be seeing more of them. I mean, g given how they've been showing up in the OP, they're obviously meant to be characters who will be persisting. So I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes anyway. So I'm trying to look at the flyer that was handed out. There's no translation on my video. I don't know whether others do translate it. I don't know whether this is going to be elaborated on later or if someone can give me a hand with that. But I don't know whether it's whether she's, you know, kind of a prude. And people might not approve of that. Okay, so I think that's pretty much all I have to say for this episode. But I will be eagerly looking forward to next episode for more, you know, more characters. Or more time spent with these characters. More comedy. More, you know, feeling. More, more of the resolution of this um student council election arc and uh yeah if you've got any comments then please leave them down below i would love to hear from you if you liked the video please drop a like if you disliked it then drop a well drop a thumbs down but please give me a comment as well as to why so that i can improve and otherwise i will see you all next week